and flashlight is important not just for self-defense but for your day-to-day -day life. That's why I absolutely love power tack flashlights. If you're looking for a light for self-defense, a tactical light for your gun, or just a regular flashlight for finding stuff in the dark or walking the dogs, check out power tack. There's a link in the description below for a code that will save you a little bit of money during checkout as well. I personally own several of their lights. It's a great company run by great people. Hey guys, this video is going to be a little bit different. I'm doing a day in my life, going to show you um, what I do as I go through my day. I'm starting the day off hunting, so it's actually the night before my day in the life. Um, but I know I'm going to be really tired in the morning, so I wanted to do my intro now and let you know what's going on. So I hope you guys enjoy this, it's a little bit different. And let me know in the comments if you wanna see more of these. So it's nine o'clock now, I'm gonna set my coffee maker. I like to have coffee when I'm in my tree stand, so I know that some people are really worried about scent and stuff, but I always have coffee in the tree stand and I never find that it affects the deer like coming towards me or anything. Um, and I really like having coffee in the tree stand. It just adds a little bit of excitement to my my time up there i get to have a few sips of hot coffee as i'm freezing my butt off so yeah i'm gonna set my coffee maker and get ready for bed so i'll see you guys in the morning to head out it's still dark it's a little later than I had wanted I had snooze a couple of times but it's okay I'm gonna head out now and go to my tree stand and I'll see you guys there hopefully I can walk super quiet I'm gonna try I obviously couldn't be super loud and talk to you guys up in the tree stand, but this is my view from up there. It was a beautiful morning. I love this time of year with all the colors. I feel really fortunate to live in New England because this is one of the most beautiful seasons. So this little strap here with a hook, it's attached to my harness and allows me to have my hands off my bow without it falling. So it's a great way to keep my hands warm. I stick my hands in this big like pocket thing I got from Hunter Safety Systems, which is a game changer when it's really cold out. My hands stay toasty warm and it has these little pockets. And a lot of you have asked what kind of bow I have. This is a Bowtech Eva Shockey Gen 2. I absolutely love it. This morning, for some reason, I wasn't seeing any deer. I usually have good luck in this tree stand. I've seen a lot of does with their young this season, so I haven't shot any because I won't shoot a doe if she's with her young. Um, but this morning I just wasn't seeing anything, of course, because I was filming. But I saw a fisher in there the other day, and I'll input that clip here so you guys can see it because it was cool. It's almost nine and I 
didn't see a thing. <laughs> um, so we're gonna call it a morning. I don't think we've ever shown you on the channel. This is Wyatt. Hi, bud. Hi. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> so I just got home, and my lovely husband made me a wonderful breakfast. I'm so spoiled. We got coffee, we got some eggs and bacon and grapes. He's so great. <laughs> Chase isn't feeling well today, so he stayed home from school. Hi. Hi. He's doing some work, but... This is awesome. I'm very excited to eat this right now. I also wanted to show you guys the newest addition to my home office. It's this pillow. It says coffee mascara holster. And it's, you know, just a decorative pillow. And on the other side is a dry fire target. Isn't that so cute? So these are sold by Armed and Style and they have different, she has like Christmas themed ones, all sorts of different like decorative front parts, <laughs> depending on what you like. And then you can choose your target. So I'll show you here on her website. You can choose like a USPSA target, an IDPA target, a silhouette, um, the dots, whatever you want. So. Um, I thought these were so cute and then you can just have it in here and use it for dry fire practice But then you just flip it over and it's a pillow Isn't that so cute and the cover comes off so you can wash it which is always a win So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my Instagram of something really cool that she came out with for Christmas It's not this pillow um, But definitely follow me on Instagram because in the next couple weeks. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for something specifically Christmas related that she came out with. Okay guys, I'm, I ate my breakfast, I did some housework, and now I'm on my way to go see my uncle who's here from New York. Um, I haven't seen him in quite a while. I'm really excited. He's one of my favorite people in the whole world. So I'm going to visit him at my cousin's house. And I just wanted to show you how I'm carrying right now because I'm gonna go there and then I have somewhere else I need to go after. So no, I'm not carrying in my bag today. I'm carrying in my Alexo Athletica leggings. There's their little logo. I'm carrying the Ruger LCP Max, 10 rounds of 380 in this little gun. Let me just show you. I know that you've probably already seen this if you've seen my videos on these leggings, but this is the DeSantis Flex Tech trigger guard. So it folds up, goes right into that pocket, the holster pocket, and that protects your trigger. Carefully reholster. And there it is, so easy to conceal. I just have my She Equips Herself sweatshirt on. If you guys want one of these, it has a logo on the back too. I have my merch store linked below. I also have my favorite pepper spray, my palm, in my pocket. And uh, yeah, let's go. It's really beautiful out. If you guys live in New England, this is like my favorite time of year. The leaves are just stunning. There's so many colors. It's cool out, but it's not freezing yet. That's going to come soon. So I'm just really enjoying this time of year. Um, Mac and I just came back yesterday from a trip to Vermont to celebrate our first anniversary. That was really fun. So I'm happy to be back home, getting back into the routine. I ordered my groceries when I was in the tree stand. I have Instacart. So figured I'd do that because we have we don't really have much because we were away so that's how today is going so far hope you guys are having a good day whenever you're watching this um, I'll see you in a bit if you guys ever find yourselves in Norwood Massachusetts my aunt owns a great cafe right in the center of town look how beautiful it is uh, it's called the common cafe and patisserie and she makes the best sandwiches soups lunch specials breakfast anything you want they're amazing. If you ever go in there, make sure you tell her that I sent you. Apparently, I like to live life on the edge. <laughs> Rolling into the gas station with zero miles. Does anybody else do this? To be fair, when I left the house, it said I had way more gas and that I'd be able to make it where I was going and back. 
and then all of a sudden it just went to zero so maybe the gauge is wrong but i'm gonna get gas now one of the things that i love most about my husband is how innovative he is he can always come up with a solution to anything so what are we working on right now <laughs> uh we're making a cover for the boat to utilize the smaller boat so that we don't have to store either boat in the garage so we have more room this this winter for the bigger boat which is being fixed <laughs> and decked out and will be ready for next fishing season there so. are multiple boats and so that's what we're working on right now where'd this boat come from baby my dad bought this boat when i was two years old <laughs> and i took it over when i was probably 16 years old uh, and I've been working on it ever since because it's required maintenance every year. So, <laughs> and what kind of boat is it? It's a Sears Game Fisher. Sears. It's a 14 footer. Mm -hmm. and, uh, boat you caught your first bass out of. Yeah. My first bass, your first bass, Ryan's first bass, Chase's uh -huh. first bass. It's a family heirloom. <laughs> so, what's going to happen is this is the decking. We're going to screw this down so we have a deck platform. Then mm -hmm. the other boat, the green boat, is going to go upside down on top of this. Yep. And then the tarp is going to go over that so there shouldn't be any pockets. Mm -hmm. so that you know the water just sits there or the snow sits all winter and both motors will come off and go in the ground it's genius okay that's it finished now you're just gonna put a tarp on top and we might still go out a few more times but mm -hmm. uh so it'll look like this motors will be off gas tank will be out battery will be out all the parts pieces will be out but it'll look like this and there'll be a tarp over the whole mess mm -hmm. so that if you can kind of envision if we make the tarp kind of tight it goes down yeah. so water won't so won't smart. Build up in there. So this is, and it also stores two boats in one location to mm -hmm. make life a little bit easier. You're genius, Macquarie. Okay, so this is the other boat. So this is the 16 and a half footer. This should fit the four of us and even the dogs. Uh, it's got a 10 horsepower greater motor, so it's a 35 instead of a 25, and this should be able to get us everything we've done. So sandblasted it, took it all the way down. It was it was painted, but we took it all the way down, had sandblasted, and I've used this product called Gluvit on all of the seams. If it has narrow, it leaked. So <laughs> I covered uh, all the areas that leaked. Mm -hmm. Not not done, but we did that this morning. This should be dry in another couple of days and then we'll paint the boat. And then when it's done painted, we'll deck it and we'll make it like a nice fishing boat. So this is Wyatt. I don't think I ever properly introduced him to the YouTube world, but we got him in July and he was born in April. So he's gonna be seven months in a few days seven months old and um he's a crazy boy but we love him he's eating a chicken foot right now <laughs> okay so normally because we came home from a trip yesterday i would have gone to the grocery store today but i had a lot to do so i ended up ordering on instacart and i figured i'd just show you guys what i got this is like a regular week's worth of groceries for us so i usually plan out our meals and then make my list but that just didn't happen today so we're just gonna work with whatever i got so for meats this week i got some pork chops we like to grill those i got some chicken breast i can make a variety of different things with these I've got some salmon for me and mac um the boys really like these lara bars they're pretty healthy they usually have like just a few ingredients and then we've got some yogurt covered raisins for them they like those We've got some yogurts. I actually wanted more of these and I only got two, so I'm gonna have to go grab some more this week. And then some cheese. This one, if you didn't know and you're lactose intolerant, Cabot cheese is lactose free, so you can probably eat that. Um, then we have some berries. We really like fruit in this house. So we have blueberries, strawberries, some apples, bananas. The boys really like these mixed vegetables, um, like as a side with their dinner. We got some applesauce. Uh, this is our favorite pe peanut butter. It's the Teddy's, the Teddy's Smooth and Salted. You can see the only ingredients in this is peanuts. So I try to get things that only have one ingredient. Some of the things like the yogurt and the raisins and um, the bread obviously have more than one ingredient, but I try to feed us mostly whole foods. Oh, and then of course we've got a lot of eggs and a lot of milk. The boys go through a ton of milk and um, my olives and olives. So I'm gonna put on some Gilmore Girls, um, clean out the fridge a little bit and put this stuff away, and then we have some other home things to do. I gotta put the dishes away and the laundry, so let's go. Is anyone else a fan of Gilmore Girls? I feel like every time it becomes fall, I have to watch this show again. <laughs> I'm on season two.
So I put all the groceries away. I think I'm gonna make some bone broth. I have these deer bones from last year and they've been in the freezer, but I'm gonna roast them for about an hour and then make some bone broth with this because I think it's just really good for you and why not? So that's what we're gonna do right now. Oh, Nina, do you wanna say hi? You haven't been in this video. Wyatt, come. There's Mila and Wyatt together. <laughs> Okay, I've got my bones in here with some vegetables I had in the freezer, some celery, carrots, onions, and then a few garlic cloves. So I'm gonna put some seasonings in here, some apple cider vinegar, and then let it cook on low for about 24 hours. Okay, I'm back up here. Um, it's a little windy, so the tree's moving a bit, which I don't really love. <laughs> What a day, you guys. I didn't see anything hunting. And I was actually having this like fear that I, my tree was gonna fall down with me in it and I couldn't get that out of my head. And sometimes that happens to me but I can like get out of it but I just couldn't stop thinking about it tonight. And I was like, this tree is gonna fall and I'm gonna go down with it. Um, and I shared that on Instagram and then I shared how I went on the Uversion app. If you don't have Uversion, it's a great app. I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below. Um, it's basically, you get the whole Bible at your fingertips right in your app and there's like, you can do search based on words. You can do like a verse of the day that pops up on your screen. Um, there's like devotionals and plans and stuff. Anyway, it's really great. So I went on the Uversion app in my tree stand and I searched the word fear and I read a bunch of verses that had to do with fear and that kind of um, made me feel better. I ended up staying up there even though I was like, should I get down? But no, I stayed and I'm proud of myself for staying even though I was very afraid. Um, I was just like really in my head and that happens every once in a while. But unfortunately I didn't see any deer. I stayed until dark and then came home. Um, we had some dinner. I made quesadillas, which were pretty good. And um, yeah, now I'm sitting here with Mila and I think we're gonna do a little puzzle. <laughs> I think we're gonna do a puzzle because I love doing puzzles and just wind down for the rest of the night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little day in the life vlog. If you did, I'd love to do another one. Um, I'll probably get better at them the more I do them. And let me know down below if you liked it and if I should do more of them. But that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Stay safe. Bye. Bye.